All right, let's take a look at this last example where we are asked to find the orthocenter of a triangle. So given triangle ABC, this is the same um, one that we worked with before, find the coordinates of the orthocenter of the triangle. All right, so first of all, you need to know what the orthocenter of the triangle is. Um, remember, the orthocenter of the triangle is the intersection of the altitudes. And remember, the altitude starts from the vertex and is perpendicular to the opposite side. It does not cut the opposite side in half. It is just perpendicular to it. All right, so, and you would do the same thing with all of your other sides here. So it would start from the vertex, go to the opposite side, it would be perpendicular. And the third one, um, you would start from the opposite side, the vertex, go to the opposite side, and it's going to be perpendicular. So we want to find that intersection. So let's think about what exactly we need to do that to write the equation of, let's say, the red or the purple line. So number one, I it's going to be very important for you to draw your triangle here. I think it will be very helpful for you to see what your ver what your triangle is going to look like. Now this is just the triangle from the previous um, slide. So we had uh, a was negative two comma eight, and I would just draw an x y plane and just kind of estimate here. Um, C was the twelve comma six. Okay, and the B over here was negative six, negative two. Okay, that's your B value. All right, so um, I'm gonna explain to you how to do this, um, and then I want you to try it and kind of see how you do. All right, so let's just say that we are gonna go from A to the opposite side. Okay, that's B, C, perpendicular. To write the equation of the line, what would you need? So that equation of the line we know goes through, and let's just call this like we're going from vertex A. Okay, let's call that the one that goes from vertex A. So we know that we, we have the point of negative two comma eight, so there's my point, and then I need the slope of this, okay? Now, what, how would I figure out the slope? Well, first of all, if I find the slope of BC, the slope that goes through vertex A, since it's perpendicular, is the opposite reciprocal. So you're going to find the slope of BC. Okay, and the slope of BC, remember you're just subtracting your y's over subtracting your x's. So six minus negative two is going to be eight, and 12 minus negative six is going to be um, 18 because we're adding and we can divide both those by two so we get four over nine. But that's not the slope we're gonna use because that's the slope of this. We need the perpendicular slope. So the slope that we're going to use is negative four ninths, okay? So this is the information you're going to use to write the equation of the red line, and you're gonna put it into point slope form. So you're gonna fill in your y1, your which is your eight, you're gonna fill in your slope, which is the one right here, and your x1, which is your negative two, okay? You're gonna write the equation of that line. And then the second one you're going to do is you're going to write, it doesn't matter which one you do, let's just say, um, let's pick this one right here. We're gonna go from, we're gonna start at vertex B and go to the opposite side. So I'm just gonna call that VB so we know that we're starting at vertex B. The point that we're going to use there is negative six, negative two. Now we need to find the slope of this, but first we need to find the slope of AC. So the slope of AC, let's do eight minus six on top of your y's, which is two, negative two minus 12, which is negative 14. So that's gonna simplify to one over negative seven. Opposite reciprocal, the perpendicular is just seven. So this is the information you're going to use to write the equation of that blue line. Okay, same thing. You're gonna fill it into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Then you're gonna solve for y on both of them, set the two equations equal to each other, solve for x, and then plug it back into one of your equations to get y, okay? Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I'd be happy to help.